Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing my favorites video for March and April of 2019. If you haven't seen any of my favorites videos before, I'll go ahead and first throw the playlist up in the cards if you'd like to catch those. But I do these a little bit differently. I don't like to do them monthly. I like to do them at least every two or three months because I only want to show products in the series that I've tested thoroughly and that I've actually really been loving. Like these are almost like Holy Grail status products, which is why I don't like to do these videos like every month because I feel like if you do them too often, then you're just looking for products to fill in the video with as opposed to really showcasing products that you really really enjoy and think work really well. So I believe my last one was a favorites video for January and February of this year. I'll throw that up in the cards if you want to watch that one. But for today's video I have seven products that I've really been loving over the past couple of weeks and they've all been products with the exception of one that I've had for several months and that one product has worked spectacularly for the last couple of weeks. So let's jump in first. I might try to do this in order. So the first one I have is a primer, and this is no surprise to anyone if you've been around my channel. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I was finally able to get my hands on a couple of backups of this amazing $8 primer, and because of that, I've actually been able to continue using the first one that I had because I had just like a little bit of product around the edge and I was hoarding that because I didn't want to run out. And this is back when like Jeffree Star did a video on it and it sold out like everywhere. I also did a video like the week before Jeffree's video where I compared this to the Tatcha primer and I found this one worked better. Like I said in my full face of e.l.f. video that I just put up, e.l.f. is very hit or miss but when they have their hits they're bomb. <laughs> They're awesome. So I love this primer. I have two backups of this primer now. So this one is just about finished. You can see in the back there's only a little bit of product left. And I will probably just immediately bring out my first backup. So next I have two foundations I want to talk about. The first foundation is an affordable stick foundation. It is actually one of the only stick foundations I've found that actually works for my skin. Now this does come with a caveat. This is the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Stick Foundation and I have the shade F6. This is actually like a perfect shade match for me right now. And I can just swipe, 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 put this on and it's amazing, honestly. It is medium. It's a solid medium coverage that you can build up. I wouldn't build it up too much because if you do a little bit too much, it can get a bit cakey. Um, if you do powder on top of it, you don't have to powder on top of it, but with the way my skin is, I do like to powder everything. I've actually been experimenting with not powdering my forehead to see how that works, and I've actually been pretty impressed by those results. But anyway, back to the stick foundation. I adore this formula. It's moisturizing and it's held up amazingly for me throughout the winter months, which has been awesome. But unfortunately, I found that this doesn't work as well in hotter weather because I do sweat a lot. I do have combination skin. And once it gets into the like the hotter months, I need to start using a mattifying primer. I need to start using mattifying foundations. I need to powder everything. Like it can get a little nuts, especially because I'm walking a mile to my train station. I have three trains I take to work, walk to the office, work a full day, come back. With all of that, I need something a little bit more mattifying than this. This really is a more natural, like kind of satin finish that I've been loving ever since I got this. I think I got this in like late November and I've actually really been loving it. I still haven't done a video on this, which I feel like I'm now going to have to hurry up and do one before it gets too, too hot. Uh, this is the amount of product that I have left. I think this is like half of what you normally get in the stick because I've been using it so much. So I will be doing a full video on this coming up, hopefully on a day where I can work from home so I can show you some nice check-ins and everything. But so far, this is the only stick foundation that has worked for my skin. Speaking of moving to hotter months, a foundation that I've brought back out and I'm realizing just why I loved it so much to begin with. This is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. This is also helping me realize how pale I am. Because <laughs> I went back and I started watching some of my first videos on my channel and some of them were about uh, hot weather and the best full coverage foundations for hot weather for combination skin. And I always mentioned this foundation and back then my perfect shade match was shade 725. <laughs> Because I actually went outside and, like, got sun. I tan at the top of a hat. Like, honestly, 
I'm probably going to get tan this summer just from walking to the train station and then walking to work. Like, I'm going to tan. But, so that used to be my perfect shade match. Now the shade 710 is too dark for me. <laughs> but the formula of this foundation is still awesome. I'm wearing it today mixed in with my Catrice HD liquid coverage because I am trying to experiment more with mixing different foundations together and so far I am loving it. But this foundation is awesome. It does have SPF in it. I do have a very old video with a full review. I'll throw that up in the cards if you guys want to check it out. I do want to redo one of those videos I did where I mixed this with Dermacol and it was like my perfect summer foundation. So I'm going to redo that once it gets really hot to see if it still works as well. But this foundation is great. I've actually, so I'm more than halfway done with this. You can see I've like scraped off sides of the product in here. It doesn't pump out anymore. I have to like scrape it out with my spatula. So if I can get through this, I am 100% going to repurchase it definitely as we are getting into the summer months. I don't know if I'll rebuy shade 710. We'll see what complexion. <laughs> what my complexion is looking like when I need to rebuy this. But at this point in time, I'm actually still lightening shade 710. The next product is the newer one that I've had only for a couple of weeks, but it's been amazing. This is from L'Oreal and this is the Infallible Full Wear More Than Concealer Concealer. And I have the shade, what shade are you? Oh my God, is the shade not on here? The only thing I see, oh, found it. I have the shade 355 Vanilla, and I'm wearing this under my eyes today. It's not 100% full coverage, but it brightens under my eyes, and it's best at full day longevity. Like, this does not crease nearly as bad as any of my other foundations or concealers. It looks flawless under my eyes and I've worn this for full work days. I've worn this when I've been at home, I've worn this when I've gone out and it looks incredible. I actually purchased this the same time I purchased that new L'Oreal foundation and quite honestly I am not feeling the foundation. I've been testing it out for a few weeks and I'm not very impressed but what came out of left field was the concealer because I only picked up the concealer because I was at Walmart and I saw the foundation and I was like, let me just pick up the concealer with it. That way I can do both of them. The foundation is not working so well for me, but the concealer has been incredible. This has been awesome. Like a diamond in the rough kind of find, especially because I haven't been so drawn to L'Oreal base products really. My next favorite is a loose powder and this is from Cody. This is the Airspun powder. The shade that matches me the best right now is Naturally Neutral, and this is a gigantic amount of product. I originally was putting this product into different containers because this is just huge, but now that I've used up most of the top portion of this, I can use this now. Because it used to be whenever I opened it up, powder would go everywhere, but we're past that now. I find that I've actually gotten used to the scent because that's the only downside to this product is that it smells like, like grandma perfume. Like, it, it smells. It smells like old ladies. But I've actually really gotten used to it. And if you really don't like the scent, transferring it to a different container really does help get rid of that. But I've gotten used to it. It works great under my eyes. I've also been using this now that it's getting a little bit hotter. I like to bake my chin and my nose. Just because I can also get pretty oily there and sweaty there in the summer months. And it's been working great. It's also worked amazingly with the L'Oreal concealer. I purchased this on sale at Walgreens months ago and it's it's like 10 grams of product, isn't it? No, it's oh, and it's 65 grams of product. 65 grams. I don't know when I'm gonna finish this because it's it's gigantic. It's awesome. My next favorite is absolutely no surprise at all. This is my favorite highlighter. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Royal Glow. I've got a lot of pan right there and the crown is almost gone. I'm mentioning this because I've actually been reaching for this highlighter. Even though I'm panning a highlighter and even though I just bought a couple weeks ago a really nice Dior highlighter, I'm still reaching for this one. I'm wearing it today. I love this highlighter. <laughs> I actually just purchased a backup of this highlighter because there was an amazing deal at Nordstrom that a lovely subscriber told me about and it was a kit with this full-size highlighter, a full-size lip gloss, and like a deluxe size primer for $25. 
So I mentioned before that I probably wouldn't purchase a backup of this because I thought it was no longer available because this is a limited edition highlighter, but I couldn't pass that deal up. <laughs> I have this much pan in this highlighter and I know I love it. Seriously, <laughs> so much. <sighs> my last favorite is the lipstick that I'm wearing today that I actually got with my Jeffree Star Blue Blood purchase. This is the full size velour lip 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 velour liquid lipstick in the shade birthday suit. Now I did have a mini of this in one of his bundles. Totally used up the mini and I wanted to purchase the full size. And I figured as we're getting into spring and summer, I wanted a go-to daily nude shade that was just a little bit warmer than my other nudes. This is a little bit deeper, it is a little bit warmer. It just screams like spring and summer to me. So I feel like this is going to be my go-to shade for the next few months. I love the formula. It stays all day. The only time I have to really reapply this is if I'm wearing a gloss on top or if I eat something that's really messy during lunch. So those are all of my favorites for March and April of 2019. Let me know down below what your favorite products have been for the last couple of months. Thank you again for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.